The movie begins with Daphne trying to pass her driving test to get a driving license. Despite the Mystery Inc. gang cheering on her, Daphne crashes the mystery machine into a tree and fails her driving test. The Mystery Inc. cannot believe their luck when they find out they have won the lottery ticket to a space trip, sponsored by the pretentious billionaire Sly Baron, who wants to make space tourism a thing. The gang arrives at the launch site where they learn they will be accompanied by an astronaut Sharon Lucas, retired astronauts Zip Elvin and Colt Steelcase, football player U-Boat, and a news reporter Clark Sparkman. While the gang waits to board the spacecraft named Sly Star One, Shannon Lucas shows them how their customized space suits work. Velma is a little ticked off when she sees Shannon hit it off with Daphne while ignoring her. This intensifies when Shannon reveals the gang's training test scores. Daphne scores the highest and Shannon suggests she consider her future as an astronaut. Fred is smitten by the retired astronauts Zip and Colt and his fanboy behavior annoys the duo. Shaggy and Scooby-Doo are starstruck when U-Boat arrives and just then, Sly announces they all board the spaceship. Fred, Daphne, and Velma are surprised by Shaggy's and Scooby's calm demeanor on board, who are otherwise jumpy on regular elevators. This is due to their obsession with U-Boat, who sits with them. Shannon asks Daphne to accompany her for takeoff at the bridge, and Fred follows the retired astronauts, leaving Velma seated alone. She is joined by Ridley, the alien hunter, astronaut, and Clark Sparkman, who wants her interview but she refuses. Everyone buckles up and the ship ascends into space until it reaches its cruising altitude. They are joined by Sly's robot ham who brings in the refreshments trolley and tries to amuse the guests with his jokes but to no avail. Clark, Velma, and Ridley decide to take a tour of the ship while Scooby-Doo and Shaggy leave to look for the snack bar. Zip and Colt leave to perform a safety check accompanied by Fred. Daphne joins them too, leaving Shannon alone in the control room. Shaggy and Scooby-Doo hear a strange noise from outside the ship but choose to ignore it. Velma, Ridley, and Clark also hear the thud but Clark shrugs it off as space junk. Something he learned at NASA Ridley is convinced there are aliens out there to get them and she shows her combat moves to Velma and Clark, who find her alien conspiracies ridiculous, especially since she has never seen one in real life. When she leaves to get more video footage to prove the existence of Leons, Velma and Clark run to hide from the alien enthusiast. Scooby-Doo and Shaggy find the snack bar, but it is locked. They get scared when they hear loud footsteps coming from the dark but it is only U-Boat who helps them get their hands on all the U-boat snacks available on the ship. Next, we see that a black alien figure rips open a ship door and pulls out some wires. Daphne is alerted by the unusual sound which Zip assures is just because of the thermal contraction of the ship's body. He believes that aliens do not exist. Suddenly, a blaring alarm goes off. The astronauts along with Daphne and Fred rush to the bridge to check on Shannon who tells them that they are losing oxygen as something damaged the external tanks. Ridley pulls up the security camera footage and they see the black alien attacking their ship. They fear they will soon run out of air and not be able to make it back to Earth in time. Sly suggests going to his resort on the dark side of the moon, a secret project he had been working on for a decade. At the Sly Prime Resort, everybody is able to take off their helmets since the air generators have created enough air for them. Sly introduces his twin brother Hudson who is more than happy to meet actual people after 11 years of being on the moon, building this resort and Slybots. When he learns of the entire situation, plus the alien, he brings forward his best bot Caroline to help. Shaggy and Scooby do leave on the Sly Moon buggy to go for a drive around the moon. They notice it looks like a space junkyard and think maybe there really is no alien. They even see Neil Armstrong's footprint along with the American flag hoisted on the moon. While they are having their gravity-free fun, suddenly a huge shadow approaches them and it is that alien from the ship. The duo barely escapes from the alien since it is quite difficult to run when gravity is non-existent. They make it to the buggy and manage to escape from the monster alien. When they reach the resort, they bump into U-Boat, telling him about the alien encounter. This is where U-Boat speaks to them for the first time during the entire journey, and tells that it is okay to be afraid of stuff. He tells them they can cope with fear by singing, and then proceeds to sing them a song about it. Shaggy and Scooby-Doo are dumbstruck. Meanwhile, Zip and Colt try to fix the Sly Star One. Fred keeps messing things up and ends up trapping himself and Daphne. Next, Ham tries to make conversation with U-Boat who is fixing himself a snack in the microwave oven, stating machines are useful for humans so his mistrust of machines is uncalled for. Clark comments that maybe U-Boat does not approve of technology. U-Boat breaks his silence and tells them that ever since robot machines replaced his father and hundreds of workers at factories, he does not expect any good from them. Next, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo are chased by the alien again, and they hide in the restaurant while feasting on the food. But it is short-lived as the alien catches up and turns the whole restaurant upside down. Shaggy and Scooby escape and run into Daphne, Fred, Zip, and Colt in the hallway, warning them about the alien following them. Everyone gathers in the restaurant and speculates what creature could have caused this damage. Sly makes his appearance just then, which makes Velma suspicious of his prolonged absence before the whole scenario. He informs them all that he had a satellite interview scheduled but since the alien damaged the satellite, 
They currently have no connection with Earth. Everyone starts to bicker so Shannon proposes that some rest will do everyone good. As the rest of the people leave, the Mystery Inc. regroups, despite Daphne's and Velma's rift, and decides they need to catch this alien monster to prove that there is no actual alien. They are joined by Ridley who cannot let a chance of catching an alien go by. As they set the trap, Ridley explains her conspiracy theory about how aliens can enslave humans, but she leaves when the gang does not take her seriously by spinning their own fantasy theories about defeating an army of aliens. The gang gets in position and as always, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo are put up with the task of luring the alien into the trap. He watches them through the security cameras and ensures them it is an easy task, bribing them with sticky buns sent via a sly bot. Meanwhile, Velma and Daphne have an argument where Daphne accuses Velma of being jealous of her training test scores. Velma tells her it's not just that, Daphne gets to live the best life being a beauty with brains, while Velma is stuck being the nerdy friend. If being an astronaut is also for Daphne, then she wonders if life has anything in store for her. Daphne understands how her friend is feeling insecure and feels terrible about the whole tiff. Suddenly, the power goes out and the artificial gravity is terminated, leaving everyone floating. Sly announces that the gravity will be back on shortly and asks them to enjoy the authentic space experience while it lasts. Shaggy and Scooby-Doo are having the time of their lives, enjoying the sticky buns while floating in midair when suddenly they bump into the alien. After using U-Boat's singing technique to avoid fear and failing terribly, they resort to what they do best, run. They lead the alien toward Daphne and Velma who activate the smoke screen and sting darts, but to no avail since the alien gets away unscathed. Shaggy and Scooby make it to the X marked by Fred where he douses the alien with gravity gel. It does not really help considering the power comes on at the same time. Just as the alien grabs Scooby-Doo, Fred freezes it with liquid nitrogen. Finally, the alien is captured. Everyone arrives and they are all astounded that the gang has managed to capture the alien, especially Zip, and Colt who did not believe that aliens actually existed, until this moment. Velma confirms their belief because as it turns out, Sharon was actually posing as an alien in an attempt to sabotage Sly's dream and scare the civilians away from space travel. Being an astronaut, she knew how to adjust the frequency of the micro-radar transmitter to create a sonic waves weapon that scared away Scooby and Shaggy in the restaurant encounter. She also used Sly's gravity-defying boots that helped her get around easily while knowing every inch of the boat, so she could make sure no one caught up to her scheme. Shannon confesses to all of this, saying space travel should be reserved for those who earn it by working hard and sacrificing their lives for it, like her, not to be handed out for free just because someone can afford it. She even changed the gang's training test scores initially to mess with them, with Shaggy's score being the highest in reality, and she succeeded in driving a wedge between Velma and Daphne for some time. She even got the perfect crew assembled so that the world would appreciate her word when she would return as the alleged sole survivor from the dangerous space tour. She locks them all behind a huge glass wall and tells them that her plan is still in motion. No one can leave, because she set up hundreds of thermal charges all around the entire resort, ensuring no one follows her back to Earth to expose her evil. Sly tries to buy her off but she heads for the Sly Star 1 and leaves for Earth. Everyone is worried sick about being stuck on the moon, but Hudson informs them that Sly Star 1 was not the only ship available at the Prime Resort. As it turns out, Hudson had built a similar ship with the help of his bots because living alone on the moon was too much for him and he wanted to escape, but he could not bring himself to leave because he knew how much it meant to Sly. Sly realizes his selfishness and apologizes to his brother, pulling him into an embrace. The explosives start going off and as a result, the way toward the ship is blocked by hundreds of crates. U-Boat fails to move the crates to clear the way. When they find out that the crates are full of U-Boat snacks, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy work their way through them and finish most of it, clearing the way. This is where Caroline shows up, who has been programmed by Shannon to eliminate everyone. U-Boat tries to hold Caroline back with help from Shaggy and Scooby-Doo while everyone gets to the ship. Daphne ends up being the one to fly the ship back to Earth, with Velma by her side. They get to Earth right in time to expose Shannon for her evil plan right in the middle of the public along with the press. In the end, Shannon is arrested for her crimes while Daphne shares her limelight with her best friend Velma, who tells everyone that traveling to space is not dangerous, rather it is an opportunity to learn about our universe and more. The movie ends with Daphne struggling with driving the mystery machine.